Hello, welcome to Dava CIT. This is a part one of SQL Server. Now I'm going to talk about SQL and also pronounce as SQL. First, we should know what is SQL. SQL stands for Structure Query Language and it is used to communicate with a database. SQL statements are used to perform tasks such as update, delete, or retrieve data from database. Why SQL? It is necessary to learn about SQL. So many questions in your mind. What are the benefits? If I learn this, if I practice this, yes, of course, it's a benefit because SQL provides users to access data in a relational database management system. Next, allows users to define the data in a database and manipulate data. Next, allows users to create views, store procedure functions in a database. Next, allow users to set permission on a table, procedures and views. And now what is database? Database is a collection of data that organize, make it easy to manage data. Database is basically used when you have a company and large amount of employee information and you want to store a particular place where your data is safe, secure and easy accessibility. That time database provides all this facility which you can make it easy to manage your data. And what is RDBMS? RDBMS stands for Relational Database Management System. RDBMS is a database management system that is based on the relational model as introduced by EF code. Many larger organizations have many databases managed by different RDBMS like Microsoft SQL Server, DB2, Oracle, MySQL, Microsoft Access. It is a little confusion when you are the first time learning of SQL. You just remember one word. One SQL server can manage a many different databases. For an example, you know Flipkart, eBay, Snapdeal and many e-commerce websites and many dynamic websites who totally depends on database. Without database, they can't control and manage the customers and client information. This is a very important concept of SQL Server and this tutorial will provide you with the instruction on the basis of each of this command as well as allow you to put them to practice using SQL interpreter. The next tutorial I'll show you more knowledgeable video. I hope you enjoy and if you like this video please do subscribe my channel, comment, like and share. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.